I'm Roxanne Lang. Welcome to Children's Church on Saturday, March 20th, 2021. And today we had a birthday party for my granddaughter that just is going to turn one year old on Monday. So she turned one. So we had a wonderful birthday party with family for her. And my oldest son and his wife had a son last night. So we have a new baby grand boy, a grand baby boy. So Charlie's birthday was today and new baby Elijah was born last night. So we have a wonderful growing family. It's so wonderful to have babies in the family again and uh, the family's growing. And we just thank the Lord for these new babies and another baby yet to come next month. So exciting things happening when babies are born and new lives are coming into the world. So we thank the Lord for that. So our story today is about Jesus washing his disciples' feet. And his disciples said, no, Jesus, we're supposed to wash your feet. And Jesus says, no, nobody is above the master. And so Jesus washes his disciples' feet. And that's our story today. So let's say a prayer and sing a couple of songs and get into our wonderful story. So Father in heaven, we thank you. We thank you for your mercy. We, we thank you for your grace. We thank you for our babies, Father God, baby grandchildren. We thank you for baby Charlie. And we ask that you're, you touch her life in a very special way and their parents' lives, Father God, that they will just follow you and serve you all the days of their lives. We pray for my oldest son, Zachariah, and his wife, Samantha, and for their new baby, Elijah. And we just ask for your touch upon their lives, a touch upon their family, that you direct and guide and lead them, and they open their hearts to you so that they will lead their family to you each and every day of their lives. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Father God, for the new babies out there, wherever they are. And we thank you for America. America is your country, Father God. And we call America safe and in your hands, Father God. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. And God is good. God is very, very good. We serve an awesome, awesome God. So the first song we'll sing today is My Country Tis of Thee. And America is God's country that was founded on, on people who came over here just wanting to serve God. So My Country Tis of Thee is a song for America. <clears throat> so I think, think we've sang this song a couple of times. So if you know it, sing along with. Otherwise, you can try and remember it for next time. My country, tis of thee, sweet land of liberty, of thee I sing. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrim's pride, from every mountain side. Let freedom ring, my native country, thee, land of the noble free, thy name I love. I love thy rocks and hills, thy woods and temple hills, thy heart with rapture thrills, like that above. Our fathers got to the author of liberty, to thee we sing. Long may our land be bright with freedom's holy light. Protect us by thy might, great God, our King. And I need to practice that song more because I kind of got a, a little out of tune there. But that's okay because you know what? God loves our singing. God loves it when we sing praises to Him. He loves it when we sing thankful th songs to Him. And we just thank the Lord for our freedom that we have in America. And we pray that God will continue to keep America free and that people will rise up and stand up for America and for our freedom. And the next song we'll sing is the B-I-B-L-E. Maybe we'll get through this song without messing it up. But that's okay, because God loves. He loves our singing. He loves our voices. He loves our praise. And He loves when we give Him thanks and praise every day of our lives. 
The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. We'll sing another time because that's a short, short song. The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. And the last song we'll sing is His Banner Over Me is Love. So God has a wonderful humongous banner of love that he shines over our lives every day. God wants his banner of love to be bright in our lives so we can share his banner of love, his love that radiates us in us from him to radiate out into the world and those around us. The Lord is mine and I am his. His banner over me is love. The Lord is mine and I am his. His banner over me is love. The Lord is mine and I am his. His banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. He brought me to his banqueting table. His banner over me is love. He brought me to his banqueting table. His banner over me is love. He brought me to his banqueting table, his banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. He is the vine and we are the branches. His banner over me is love. He is the vine and we are the branches. His banner over me is love. He is the vine, we are the branches. His banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. Jesus is the rock of my salvation. His banner over me is love. Jesus is the rock of my salvation. His banner over me is love. Jesus is the rock of my salvation. His banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. And God has a huge banner of love. He loves us with his whole heart. He loves us so very, very much. We are his children. He is our God. He is our Father, and he loves us so very, very much. God is love, and love is God, and he wants to bless us with all kinds of blessings, and most of all, he wants to bless us with his love. He wants to, us to know how much he loves us, and that's why his banner, he has a huge banner of love, <clears throat> covering us so that we can experience his love and share that love with the world because you know what we are supposed to be like Jesus and Jesus has so much love for us God has so much love for us he wants us to be filled with his love overflowing with his love and his joy so we can go out into the world and share that love because if we don't have love in our hearts it's very very difficult to share love and joy with others if we don't experience it ourselves. So we receive the love of the Lord to give it out to others. It's giving. When we give, we also receive more love in return. Did you know that? So our story today is Jesus washes his disciples' feet. And we are in the Bible Stories Treasury book. And there is the picture up close and it says washing feet so Jesus was having supper he was having a meal with all of his disciples and when they got all done with their meal Jesus took his robe off and he used it as a towel and he got a basin and he sat down and started washing his disciples feet and they said no Jesus you can't wash my feet and Peter and Peter said, no, Jesus, I will not allow you to wash my feet. And Jesus says, I must wash your feet. I'm your master. You need to, you need to learn from me. Because when you go out into this world, I want you to serve others. So Jesus was showing them how to be servants by washing their feet. And once Jesus explained that, to Peter. Peter said, Jesus, don't just wash my feet. 
wash all of me. He got so excited. I just love that when Peter says that to Jesus. He says, don't just wash my feet, then wash my whole body, Jesus, because I want to be a servant. I want to go into this world and share with all the people what you have shared with us. So let's read the story. Washing feet. One evening during supper, Jesus got up. He tied a towel around his waist and began to wash his friends, and his friends were the disciples. He started to wash their feet. They were shocked. It was a servant's job to wash feet. And Jesus, they thought, surely was no servant. He was supposed to be their king. So they never, ever expected Jesus to do a servant's job and wash their feet. But Jesus said, we are servants. Did you know that? As Christians, we are to be servants. We are supposed to be helpful to other people. Says Jesus, you must not wash our feet, said Peter. I'm washing your feet because I love you, said Jesus. Did you know? Jesus loves us so very, very much. He loved his disciples and he wanted to show them how much he loved them. And one of the ways that Jesus showed his disciples that was by washing their feet. He showed them how much that he cared and loved them so very, very much that he was going to serve them and wash their feet. So Jesus said, I'm washing your feet because I love you. Now copy me. So Jesus said, do what I do. Go out into this world and do what I have taught you. Do what I have shown you. Do what I have done unto you. Love and help each other. And that's what our job is. That's what our responsibility is. That's what we are supposed to do as Christians. To love and care for and to help each other. Not to put each other down, not to think we're better than others, but to love them and care for them. And when somebody needs help, Jesus says, help them, be their servant, wash their feet, feed them, take care of them. Let them know how much you love them. Because when they see your love, then they will see my love. It says, dear God, please help me be loving and helpful like Jesus is. Jesus is so very, very loving and he wants us to do the same thing. He wants us to follow what he followed, to do what he has done. Do you think that would be difficult to wash somebody's feet? Sometimes it's hard to help others when you don't like to do that job, isn't it? But Jesus said, love and care for others. Help them. Do unto others as you would want them to do unto you. Why did Jesus choose to do a servant's job? Why did Jesus wash their feet? Jesus said, I'm washing your feet because I love you. And he wanted to sh show them how much he loved them by doing a servant's job and washing their feet. So Jesus says, go out into the world and show people how much you love them and how much you care for them and help them. Do what I do and people will know that you love them. That's what Jesus told his disciples so they would learn. They had another lesson that Jesus taught them. How did you like that story? Did you like it when Jesus washed his disciples' feet? Would you be kind of a little confused like the disciples were when Jesus decided to sit down with a basin of water and start washing their feet and they just looked at Jesus. Jesus, that is a servant's job. You're not a servant. I think I would be kind of a little wondering too, a little, a little confused saying, what are you doing, Jesus? But Jesus gave them a good answer. He said, I love you so very, very much. And go out into the world and do likewise. Show the people how much you love them by helping, helping everyone that you can help and show them the love that you have, that you've received from me 
and they will know my love. So thank you so much for listening. Please share and subscribe. God loves you. Jesus loves you. I love you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And we'll have another day of Children's Church tomorrow.